First of all, let's look at the three chord shapes that we need for Sweet Home Alabama to actually play the, the riff. We're starting off with like this D, D power chord. Um, so my first string is on the third string, second fret. My uh, third finger is on the um, third fret of the second string. So we're going to call that our D chord. And then for chord number two, your first finger comes off and your second finger comes up onto the fifth string, third fret, and then we're going to call that our C. And then to get the G, your second finger comes off and just goes up one string onto the third fret of the low E string. And I'm going to call that our G. So you have D, C, G. So you should spend just a few minutes getting used to Uh, the important thing is that your third finger is never moving. It stays anchored there throughout uh, throughout the entire like chordal riff. Okay, we'll go into a wide shot now, and because um, it's important that we're picking through this riff correctly. So you start off by picking um, your open fourth string twice. And we'll worry about the palm muting later. For now, we'll just get the sequence of notes. Um, so I'm holding my the first chord shape, the D. I pick the fourth string open twice. And then I pick the second string and the third string. And I kind of make them go d d together. Then I change to my second shape. So my first finger comes off, my second finger goes up, fifth string, third fret. And I hit the bass note on the fifth string twice. And then I do the same thing and I go down and hit the second string and the third string. So putting that much together. And from there my second finger goes up one string so I'm in my G shape. I again pick the bass note twice and then I hit the third string. If you hit more than the third string it's okay. But it's just that in the intro you can hear it's just hitting that one string on the actual recording. So putting all three shapes together. Um, now we have like a little lick on this side so I'll zoom in again. Okay so I'm hitting the fifth string open and hammering on to the 2nd fret. Then I go to the 4th string and I hit it open and I hammer on to 2 and pull back off to the open string. So putting those two together. Then you go back up to the 5th string and you're going to hit the 2nd fret, pull off to the open string and hammer on to the 2nd fret. So if I just pick the sequence once more um, and that would tie us back into the, to the intro again. So see there how it kind of ties it everything in so I'll do it slowly once okay let's go out wide again and just discuss the palm muting now I'm um, this is probably the trickiest thing to actually playing it um, the first bass note is supposed to be palm muted and then the second one you're supposed to lift off So what you do is, what I tend to concentrate on is stopping the chords. So I hit my and then I try and stop it with my right hand. And I find that that gives me the same effect, um, but it's a lot easier to try and um, digest when you're first learning, uh, when you're first learning the riff. So after you hit that first chord, you try and stop it uh, as you're going into the bass note of the next one. 
So it's a combination of putting your right hand down and also lifting off the pressure on your left. And then you do your, li your little lick here. Um, the second time around, we're going to do uh, a little variation. In the intro, it's kind of pulling off um, from the second fret to the fourth fret to the fifth fret, which you bend up on the third string. So it's like. It's not really an exact bend. I'll do it a bit slower. Uh, but once the song gets going, we're doing um, the, the same intro riff all the time. But our second riff is going to be um, uh, a bit easier. So I'll just tighten in here. So what we're basically doing is um, hammering on again on the fifth string from zero to two, and then simply going down the open strings, hitting the fourth string open and the third string open. So that would work like. the song is progressing um, they're doing lots of licks and variations on that um, on what I've showed you so uh, once you get the hang of it it's good to try and just mess around and come up with your own variations on it as well just to keep the interest going all the time <laughs> 